Can you believe it that there's no cable which is going from this laptop to this monitor? And all I have to do is click this button and it will mirror all of my screen to there. Well, let me show you. You can see there's really no cable at all, but what is what you can see here is mirrored here. And I would say this is quite the magic and we will today look at a product which will allow you to do this magic yourself. Today we have a look at the ClickShare CX30. This is a solution made by Barco for many enterprises and small businesses to present your laptop to another screen which is far away. So let's say you have here your laptop and you want to project your laptop to a TV which is 3 or 5 meters away. Then you can use this solution to project it over wireless to this TV. But there are other advantages as well. You can connect a camera to it or a microphone. So this is by the TV and then it gets connected to your laptop. So in general, it has a lot of useful features which you will have a look at today. First of all, let's have a look at what we get. You get here your explanation. Here you can see how you can install it later. And then you have two of those dongles. Those are both type C. You can have those with USB A, but I prefer USB type C because if you have a laptop, most laptops these days only get type C and not so many USB. So as for now and for the future, I would say type C is the best to go. Then you have your Barco main part. This will be near your TV or other monitor which you connected to. You have here your HDMI connection and your LAN connection. LAN is especially useful in the beginning because you needed to set it up and this HDMI, you need a cable for yourself so they don't deliver one, which is a little bit sad for this price, but you need one if you have one, use it. If not, you can buy one cheap for Amazon at $5. And here you can connect it with the power and on the back there's a USB type C and USB type A. Those are important because you need those to configure it with those dongles and you can connect those with a camera or a microphone, so it gives you a lot more option days to things. Then here's your main connector. These you need to calibrate it with the dongle. And then you have here, if you want to mount it on the wall or mount it on the back on your TV, then this is really useful. And of course, you need your power adapter. Here what is really useful for many people, I think, is you get different dongles. So if you are in the EU, like me, you can use this dongle, but if you are in the USA, you can use another dongle, which makes this really simple, because all you need to do is slide it in there. And when I can, when I can get it done, and you are all done. The main principle of this Barco software is to allow you to have a seamlessly easy experience to connect your laptop with your monitor over distance. So it should be as simple as connect your monitor per HDMI to your Barco. So I will make this and then connect this dongle per type C with your laptop. But first, if you connect this, you will see here the basic screen. This is nothing special. You can, in the first install, you get the true experience here, but later on, you don't really need it. You just need to plug it in here and then you can start working. You see here is a small white circle which goes up to full and when it's full, it's full prepared and you can connect it with this. All you need to do now is click this button and in theory, you should, you should see what I see here. So let's test it out. And voila, you see it is really as simple as that. And if you have configured it properly, you really don't need to do much. You just need to touch this button and will connect to your display. So the experience is easy like it should be. But on the first install, you need to do a little bit on the software. And I will go over the software right now. So there are a few configurations you can do to make it a little bit a better experience. But overall, it isn't really much. And after it's configured, it is as easy and seamlessly as this. Now let us have a look at the Barco software. The Barco software is really easy to use, but there are a few tricks you need to know to let it work right. First of all, you need to connect with the Wi-Fi, which is going from the Barco and connect it with your laptop. Then you need to type in a unique IP. And this is 192.168.2.1. So you need to type this in your browser, and then you can access the software. 
There you need to have your username, which is usually admin, and your password, which you can find online, which is the basic default password. I would advise you to change it later. On your first launch on the software, you won't be greeted with this interface, but you, won't be, you will be greeted with the launch configuration wizard. This is a simple, true guide, which will guide you through the most basic and important stuff in this software. After this is done, you will see this here, and then you have one or two options, which are really nice to customize your experience. First of all, if you go to display and audio, but it's nice to see that the Baku knows automatically which resolution this is. So this is Full HD and it gives you the option for Full HD. If you connect to a 4K, you can even do 4K. But I personally wouldn't prefer 4K because I've seen if you take 4K, the mouse is a little bit stuttering, so I can't really recommend it. But if you want to use it anywhere, you can, especially for a presentation where you don't have to do much, but want a high resolution, then it can be nicer 4K. But on the other hand, in the most circumstances, I would choose Full HD here. And yes, then you have your Wi-Fi network, which is the basic stuff. But on a quick note here, on your first experience with this, and you see I have no LAN right now connected, but if you use it for the first time, you need to use LAN because then it can update and do other things. So on the first try you need LAN, but after that you don't really need it. And on your security, you can choose between three levels. I have level one because I don't really need the security right now. But if you choose it for your business, then I would advise to go for a higher level two or even level three. And this is all there is to the software. It isn't really much, but this just grants for a more nice experience. So yes. Next, we will look at the experience if you want to connect your smartphone with your Barco product. And I have one or even two insider tips just for you, which you can't find on the official web page. So let's hear it out. First of all, you need to connect your mobile phone with the VLAN on the Barco. So the Barco creates a VLAN and you need to connect to it. There is no other way around it. And if your Barco isn't connected to the LAN, you don't get internet on your mobile phone. So you connect to the Wi-Fi here too, but you don't, you can't scroll to the web. You see, what is, you see what is on the mobile phone, but you don't see what is on the web. You can't Google anything or do something like this. But if you connect it with the LAN, then you can do all the basic things and can scroll, browse, whatever you want. So if you plan to use many mobile phones with your Barco, I would advise to use the LAN on the Barco because it really is a requirement to have a nice experience. And the second step is you can't use one of those. So I thought, I don't really want to connect it with the Wi-Fi, so I will just put this in there and it should work. But this was wrong because it didn't show up there, so there was no option to connect it with this if you make this in. So really these dongles are only for laptops and not for your smartphone or tablet. And if you then want to use it, you just have to click on the click share and your name, enter the password which is shown here, which is 6. 075 and connect this button. After this, there's a quick notification and you can see my mobile phone is mirrored here. So the experience is really easy, but you have to go to the extra step with the Wi-Fi, which can be a little bit sad if you don't have LAN connected, but if you have LAN connected, then I would say really nice. 